Check out this cuteness. Aww. Just so cute and look. So cute. What? Grace. You guys, I am 20 weeks pregnant and I thought I could do a 20 week bump date update. The good, the bad, the ugly, eating all of my favorite things. Come here. Oh, come here. Luna's having a rough day because the vet told us today that she was a bit overweight. No. And it's not true. Okay. So I'm gonna go through the good, the bad, and the ugly of 20 weeks. First though, I wanna to talk to you about all of my favorite cravings and they are wide and varied. Where should we start? Let me get a knife. Okay. Your noises. So cute. My motto this pregnancy is if I want it, I'm just gonna give it to myself and I'm just gonna be happy because there are so many things about being pregnant that strive to make me not happy. The first thing that I have been craving as I have been in my 20th week is this. This was the birthday cake that my mom always made for me. So it's like a strawberry shortcake with homemade cream and just a bucket load of strawberries. The best strawberries right now are at Costco. Don't get them anywhere else. Check you out, you food blogger. Made it last night, like eight o'clock. It is so good and so yummy. And the key is to make your own homemade whipped cream. I'm so, so good. <laughs> Dallin went to Texas this week and got me this special cup. I've struggled a lot with hydration in my last pregnancies and I have like kidney infections. So I've been very, very liquid conscious. And I feel like a lot of the times I think I'm hungry, but really I'm just thirsty and I'll eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. And finally I'll take a drink and I'll be like, <gasps> like I was just so thirsty. This little piece of gold is available at many stores near you and is quite literally the best thing I've ever tasted in water. I thought you liked Crystal Light better. I like Crystal Light a lot. It's way more flavorful. I like this better because it doesn't have aspartame. It's more natural. I feel like I'm like walking around nursing like this wonderful cup of hot chocolate or coffee. So it makes me feel all cozy when I hold it, but really it's just like ice cold Crystal Light slash True Light. I'm just so thirsty all the time. Oh, start to sweat when I eat things I like. Okay. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Isn't that cute? In my last pregnancies, all of these like really strange body changes, kind of like culturally like not attractive things made me just like fall apart and cry. But this pregnancy, Dallin and I are practicing just saying, isn't that cute? It is for Dallin, like I usually start taking off layers of clothing and he loves that. I welcome that, I encourage that. Do I have boogers on my nose? No. Okay, my last great craving that I wish to pass along to the world, this is delicious, pregnant or not. I, when I am pregnant, cannot eat tortilla chips. I try, my first two pregnancies, it would make me hurl. This pregnancy is a lot less intense, but I still mostly substitute popcorn for tortilla chips. Dallin makes this fancy pants avocado salsa. You can find the link on my food blog, dashleyskitchen.com, down in the description. It is so yummy on everything, but my favorite thing to do is to sit down after a long, hard day of being pregnant, turn on an episode of Law & Order SVU, and just dip away. It's very mild taste, the popcorn, not greasy. And the avocado salsa is just cool and creamy, so I love it. And it's like got this spicy kick to it, which I also love. Okay, let's get into the good, the bad, and the ugly. I wanna start with the good and preface all of this by saying I am so eternally happy to be pregnant. We tried and tried for this pregnancy and like wouldn't change it for the world. So we're starting with the good, cause I'm gonna get into the bad and the ugly because I feel like the world needs to be better educated on what that could be. Because my first pregnancy, it just hit me out of left field. Check this out. I'm like totally growing. Look at these shorts. Did you know shorts could do this? Wow. <laughs> I could literally not wear anything. I'm finally like growing into my maternity stuff. Pretty soon it will be like down here cause I'll be so big. Let's see the belly. But like, baby, so we got an ultrasound. You guys saw that in our last vlog. Baby has moved from down here to kind of like belly button level, which is so great. I feel like I'm sleeping better. I feel like my back pain has kind of decreased a little bit. Still there, still part of my 
whole like ugly category. I just like feel better and I feel like I'm in this sweet spot of like get ready. You're about to hit like third trimester where things get really hard, but you're leaving first trimester where things were really hard too. So we're just in like this promised land of pregnancy zone. And I feel like I have like a little bump now. So I'm not walking around just not looking pregnant, but just looking bigger. Like people know at this point, I get a lot of the, like I walk by in a crowd and like, there's always a person who's like, Oh, you know, you get that. And it makes you feel good. It makes you feel special. Oh, fun stuff is happening. So I had so much anxiety my first trimester and like parts of the second trimester up until now. It's hard to believe you're pregnant. And then sometimes it's hard to know if you're still pregnant, like to know things are going well. And I just had so much anxiety that like, oh, maybe today is the day that like this will end and things won't go well. But now I can feel like little taps. And it's really fun and it just like every day helps me know that like, okay, you're still pregnant. Okay, baby is healthy. Things are going great. Even Dallin has even felt stuff. And it's just like my favorite to feel it, especially when I've had so much just, I don't know, like anxiety slash fear, lots of anxiety. And that's like kind of going away because I can feel just the kicks and it's really comforting and just really great and really cool. I feel like I'm the best pregnant mother my third time around. First time, everything was new and weird. The second time, I feel like I was just very stressed out and afraid to have a second baby because my like first baby was still a baby. But this time I feel like we have systems in place. Dallin and I know how to be parents now, sort of. It just feels like we're very prepared and ready for this baby where the last two, it was just kind of like jumping into cold water. Like, okay, like we can do this, but also it's terrifying. So we don't feel that anymore, which is really, really cool. <sighs> oh, and another cute thing. I have started picking out some baby clothes. You haven't seen these. You got baby clothes? Yeah, I got a few. You. I don't have a lot so far. Just a few things. But we also have a lot of like James's old clothes. But I like to get kind of some new clothes for each baby because I like to save clothes for each kid so that I can give them to them when they grow up. And then like, you know, if the stars align, they'll put their babies in the clothes that I save for their babies. And it will just be like this moment of beauty. Okay, this is from Lulu and Company. One of you guys sent this to us. Just like super sweet little hat and like very neutral little blanket. I love swaddles. June and January is my favorite place to get baby bonnets and baby slippers. And they have like just the cutest colors that are good for whatever gender you have. These are their slippers. They're my favorite because they kind of look like socks and they kind of look like shoes. So they're just like comfy and cute. I just want my babies to be comfortable and like. As long as there's no snaps. Only zippers. Okay. The I kind of like snaps a little bit now. It's I mean just like cute. in the night. For their oh pajamas. yeah, no, we definitely do zippers at night. Yeah, no, no snaps sex. at night. Okay, look at these. So we're having a girl. Target has so many cute things right now. Check out this cuteness. Aww. Just so cute. And look, look, ready? So cute. What? Little bows. Yeah, and look, this one has bees. This one's also from Target right now. Okay, I'm gonna show you the bows first. Stop. And they're like all soft. I feel like Target's following in the footsteps of all these bow boutiques. And now they have the really soft stuff. Really nice. And then all of their little baby jammas are the two-way zippers. So you can zip up without taking their arms out. Mm-hmm. So cute. So cute. Wait, watch. Interchangeable bow. Stop. Baby boys are so fun. But there's just something so much more fun about baby girls and clothes. I don't know, maybe if George wore hats, it would be as fun as bows, but I feel like bows add like 10 points of extra fun. When you see this outfit, Dallin, do you think Daphne or Greta or Minnie? Or Belle. Or Belle. Daphne or Greta. Really? Not Belle? Belle's out? Belle's up there, but I think Daphne and Greta are my top two. I don't know, you guys let us know. We just can't be secretive. Okay, here's the bad. And for anyone who knows me watching this, maybe just stop or tell me you never watched this one. The bad for me, it's it's like nothing terrible. I'm very tired all the time. I sleep all night and I wake up and I feel like I've stayed up all night. I get like, um, I feel like I have sinus pain, especially if I'm working out, like 
hashtag walking through my yard. I feel like there's pressure just behind my eyes and it's really annoying. Speaking of working out, um, I say like working out equals walking for me because if my heart rate gets too high and I start breathing, not like dangerously hard, like just if I'm like, like still everything's safe. But if I start to breathe a little bit harder than normal, I just, like spontaneously throw up. So I, I'm not working out as much, but I feel like that's a really good reason not to work out. My feet are starting to swell. Like I have um, my favorite Choco sandals, the Choco Chilos, they're my green ones. My feet don't really fit in them anymore, which is super cute. Um, <laughs> and then also I have to wear socks. Like I can't sleep in socks anymore. So if my feet are cold and I wanna sleep in socks, I have to pull them only, oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall like halfway up to here because it starts to cut off the circulation to my feet because of the swelling, which again is super cute. A lot of people messaged you and said you should wear compression socks. I probably should. I just, I don't know if I could feel like myself in compression socks. Well, they're like really high too. I wore them after my C-section and they're just, they might make me too hot. Okay, my last bad and then I'll move on to the ugly. I have like, it's kind of going down, but I got like crazy weird acne all over my neck and chest area. One time Dallin was like, what's going on there? And it's not like zits. It's like little, I don't know, maybe like my skin's getting stretched. So whatever's like stored in my skin pores is just kind of like surfacing. <laughs> Cute. Super cute. I'm trying to exfoliate more with, I have like a, like a bristle brush hand thing and it seems to be helping. I'm gonna do ugly really fast because I don't know. I, like, I don't know if this needs to be on the internet. I get really car sick, very car sick. I'm good on a highway, but anything other than a highway, I get very car sick and have to like sit on the road for 20 minutes after we drive. That's not very ugly. Um, I pass out. If I'm laying the wrong, like, I don't even know what the wrong way is. It could be any position. It really just depends maybe on baby's position or if the stars are aligned, but I'll just like spontaneously kind of pass out. I'm really good at knowing when it's happening. So I'll like stand up or move. And it usually only happens when I'm sitting down or laying down, which is sad because I just, you know, like I'm tired and I want to rest. And don't, like I've talked to my doctors about it. It's been every pregnancy and it kind of runs in my family. I think I have low blood pressure, like normally. I just kind of like spontaneously faint. Dallin, like <laughs> even if, like I can't hold my breath ever, like even just drinking this, I'll take a drink and I'll like, like I've been underwater for three minutes. I just pass out very easily. And I think a lot of the sweating is like pre-pass out. Maybe I'm just eating too fast and not breathing enough that I start pre-pass out sweating. Maybe that's what the food sweats are. Pre-pass out sweating. It just happens. Last thing, um, it's kind of been a constant since my first pregnancy when I'm pregnant. Just, yeah, just like your run of the mill hemorrhoids, experiencing that and do they ever? I, I'm like afraid to Google hemorrhoids because I don't think it would be just like- Just don't click on images. <laughs> I'm like, what is it? Um, can you, do they like fix themselves? Can, do you need a procedure? I'm discreetly asking Our the world this. video is gonna get blocked because of all the words of hemorrhoids in the comment section. I don't think that's a bad word. That's my ugly. It's not, it's not terrible. Cute. It's really cute, but you know, like it's kind of a drag day to day and it makes you really excited to not. These are the things that make you excited to just like exit a human from your body because that's really scary your first trimester being like, oh my gosh, like C-sections are really scary or like the whole birth experience is really scary. And like, I always feel that and have a lot of like fear around the whole birth situation. But by the time I hit like 20 weeks and then for sure in 30 weeks, I'm just like, I literally don't care if you have to cut me in half and I never walk again, like just get this baby out of me. And that's kind of like, I feel myself going there and it's comforting to go there and feel less scared about having a baby, which is kind of like a cruel joke of nature. I feel like that, you know, like they make it gets so bad that you're just like, whatever happens, I don't even care. Just, I don't want to be pregnant anymore. You guys, 
That is my 20 week ultrasound. Um, let me know if you like these or if you're just totally bored and I can Everybody stop. Everybody last time said they liked them. Really? Mm -hmm. I can stop doing them if you're bored or if you're like enough about the baby, Ashley. Here's one more little shot of baby. I guess right now it's baby Greta or baby Daphne. We're kind of in between. It's a lot to name a kid. We'll see you in our next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Big things coming up, right? Big yeah. things. RV into Texas. We're excited.